Now, the Department of Home Affairs has announced the extension of the Zimbabwean exemption permits for another six months. And this comes after the department received thousands of waiver applications of Zimbabwean nationals. The extension is valid until the 31st of December 2023. And joining us is Heda Chesema, uh, employment lawyer at Clive Decker Hofmeyer. Heda, help me with the pronunciation of your surname there. And do pardon me for having butchered it. But nonetheless, welcome and thank you so much for your time. Thank you, thank but you for having through... me and good afternoon to your viewers. Thank you. Now talk us through the purpose of the further extension of the national grace period and uh, how far back the extensions stem as well. Thank you, Cindy. Cindy, you've hit the nail on the head. Given the massive backlog at the Department of Home Affairs, which was primarily caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, approximately between about 1,000 to 1,500 applications are submitted on a daily basis. And it's for this reason, coupled with, with several uh, issues having been raised, that the minister then decided to grant this extension till the 31st of December. You'll recall that we've had several extensions over the last two years in relation to, to this exemption. However, in, in this instance, it's primarily due to the backlog. That's, that's our understanding as well as the press statement that we've received from the Department of Home Affairs. All right. And, and how far um, wide is the problem in terms of the backlog at Home Affairs? Have you any indication, particularly to eligible Zimbabwean nationals uh, uh, who could find their permits um, expiring because of other uh, administrative issues? I, to the extent, it is my understanding that the backlog is, is quite immense uh, in that sense, and that's why everyone has been encouraged to ensure that they apply to, to the department as, as soon as they can. We have been encouraging everybody not to wait till the very last minute and to apply uh, before the, the expiration of the, of the permit. Fortunately, now it has been extended till the end of December, but we can only strongly urge that everyone continue making their applications through the VFS office in order to get alternative uh, visas, as I, we're not sure of whether there's going to be another extension after December 31. In fact, that's going to be my, my next question, in that what happens in this case if you already indicated there's a, a backlog uh, with the uh, Department of Home Affairs? And it's not even indicated whether there'll be a further extension, but uh, eligible Zimbabwean nationals who do have permits, who have applied, who are in the, the waiting line, what happens then if their permits are not extended? Sure. Cindy, so, so our understanding is once you have made an application for an alternative visa and you have the tracking reference number from VFS, you would then effectively be in the queue, as you as you had already alluded to, and that you are then having to wait for DHA then to get back to you in respect of the, the alternative visa that you've applied for. But the whole idea is you would obviously have to apply prior to, to the expiration date, which will be the 31 December cutoff. Again, I can only uh, reiterate that everyone try and get their applications in rather sooner than later. And what level of protection has the amnesty provided for, uh, again, eligible Zimbabwean nationals who had applied and gone through the proper, uh, proper procedures uh, to, to remain and stay and work in the country? Right, Cindy. So this exemption allows for those Zimbabwean nationals who have not yet applied for an alternative visa to now apply. As you'll know, the, the first cutoff was now at the end of June. That cutoff has now been extended to December, allowing the Zimbabwean nationals to apply for an alternative visa. So the Zimbabwean nationals who have already applied for an alternative visa would be safe, in inverted commas, on the basis that they could then demonstrate through the reference number that they've received from the BFS office that they have made an application for an alternative visa and therefore would be able to continue residing and if they're permitted to, to continue working in South Africa. So in, in the absence thereof, it means that they would be uh, vulnerable or exposed to potential deportation. And we don't want to say harassment necessarily from uh, law enforcement, but that uh, could be a reality. Correct, Cindy. So what the, the idea or, or what lies behind our Immigration Act, as long as you are lawfully in the country, you're authorized to be here, you would then not be permitted to be harassed uh, realistically or practically. We're not sure exactly what, what is going on, but one obviously hears uh, various issues that some of our foreign nationals do raise in relation to the experiences that they've been having. However, if, as I've said earlier, if they have made application for an alternative visa, that harassment should, should not be taking place. 
um, in, in relation to them waiting for an alternative visa application to be authorized. Mm. I mean, we, we've seen, uh, you know, uh, especially outrage when it comes to, uh, let's say, Operation Dudula, saying that the foreign nationals are taking away economic opportunities from South Africans and also putting pressure on the health sector, including also benefiting from certain social uh, net or social interventions by government. So do you think that the education or awareness around the protocols, not only of the AU, SADC, and just from a humanitarian point of view, that those who follow the processes uh, are protected under those protocols? Well, they have to be. That, that, that's the, the purpose of those protocols, so need that, that everyone is protected. And if you are legally authorized to be in South Africa, there would be no reason why you should be harassed and, and not permitted to remain in South Africa. Okay, so you, you're saying that at this stage it's just a uh, wait and see approach until the, the 31st of December, but also a clarion call to those uh, uh, Zimbabwean nationals who do have visas or qualify uh, for them to make sure that they don't miss the deadline. Absolutely, and not to wait. Simply not to wait, Cindy. The, the whole idea now is, is to get your house in order and, and to get through to the VFS office and consider an alternative, applica or an alternative visa application because, I mean, these extensions, from, from what we can see, will not be endless. It, I, I cannot imagine that the minister would, would continue uh, extending the, 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 the exemption permits and allowing the permits to run indefinitely.